everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you Nextcloud. So we're going to be installing this on Proxmox today. So we're going to use a turnkey uh, template. So basically it means you restore the template and it's ready to use similar to our one click templates. So we're on Proxmox here you can see um, and what we're going to do first is download the template. So it's easy enough if we go to local and then go to CT templates then click on templates here you might not have the um, turnkey Linux templates you might just have the default ones not to worry go to the node shell and do PVEAM update like so press enter and then soon enough you should see update successful so let's wait for that so you can see it says update successful so if we go back Go to CT templates, click on templates, you can see the turnkey Linux templates. If we go to search, type in Nextcloud, press enter, you can see turnkey Nextcloud. We just want to simply press download. So it's going to start downloading. It shouldn't take long um, because it's compressed. You can see about 20 seconds. And basically, um, what we're going to do with that is create a CT. So it works off LXC containers. If you want me to do a video on LXC containers and the differences between Docker, please do let me know and I'll do that. Uh, you can simply let me know by just leaving a like on this video. So you can see it's almost downloaded. Uh, whilst it downloads, I'll explain to you what Nextcloud is. So Nextcloud is a file sharing solution uh, similar to Dropbox, um, SharePoint, OneDrive or Google Drive. So it's got built-in Office Suite. Um, and you can install it obviously on premises or in the cloud um, but it's basically just like your own Google Drive that you self host uh, it's a brilliant piece of software and we used to use it for the HSV download station we've now moved to SharePoint for a number of reasons so you can see task is ok now and um, what we're going to do is click on the node create CT name it something so I'm going to call it my drive Give it a password, um, over six characters I believe, click on template and it should auto populate, click on that. And then the disks, store it where you want Nextcloud uh, to store all of its data including your data. So let's give it, uh, actually let's not do 500 gig, let's just give it 100 for now. Then on CPU, two cores or more, I'll give it four and two gigs of RAM uh, with one gigabyte of swap. Then on network, you just want to untick firewall and then obviously get a DHCP, unless you want to statically assign it. Under DNS, uh, fill out, so mine's local, and then I'm going to just use uh, Google's DNS. If I click on confirm, start after created, make sure that's ticked, and click on finish. So you can see it's now deploying. Uh, what I'm going to do is, whilst it's deploying, uh, I'll just show you... Um, what we have to offer now uh, with help at HSVE. So we've now had to sadly say goodbye to uh, free help at Harvey's virtual environment. Um, we are obviously experiencing financial issues uh, because it's all free. Um, but basically, uh, I just thought I'd tell you a bit more about it. Um, so why did we decide to do it? Um, it? We obviously wish we can be the best that we can. Um, and obviously that includes helping people with over 12 months at HSVE offering free work obviously we've had to say goodbye to it um, due to financial issues such as the monthly payments to keep you all happy so such as the hosting for the HSVE website the download station and our obviously, obviously the internal systems such as electricity stuff um, but how do you now get help from us so don't worry we still do it on a one-to-one -one basis so it just means it's under prepaid requirements so to get help from us you go to hsv.org forward slash help where you find everything that you need to know before asking for help with us we're no hidden fees so obviously we are sorry that this has to uh, come out now but um, we have to do it so this is forward slash help so you can join the environment where the community can help you um, but if you're still not getting uh, anything um, worth value and it's still not working you can submit a service request so you fill out the details what you need help with you can click on other as well and put that there 
your system specs, time zone, and your some remote support to you. So the one time fee, um, we will calculate a price for you and create a quote uh, over email or Discord, whichever uh, you prefer. But also, if I just show you the monthly support to you, so we'll go to shop, uh, I'll just show you. So for a full Proxbox setup, so you can see we've got different plans, but the Pro is £100 and you get up to date security, remote access setup if you want that, customised uh, templates to help you get started, including Windows templates, Mac OS templates, and Linux templates, GPU pastor, etc., and operating system installation. So you can see all the operating systems that we do provide support for. You basically uh, you can buy it through there, or if you want a more customised uh, price, uh, it sometimes works out cheaper customised. Uh, you can tell us what you need doing, and we can create a quote for you. So, again, we're sorry that we have to break this news, but obviously it has to be done. Anyway, let's get on with the rest of the video. So, uh, you can see it says Task OK at the bottom, which means it's deployed. If we press Escape, go to My Drive, you can see it's running. So, this is a LHC container. You can see it doesn't use that much resources. If we go to Console, username's always root on LXCs and then put your password in. The password won't show, um, but it is doing that. So it's asking us for a SQL password, so we're just gonna enter that over and over again. And the next cloud admin account, so you can see it needs to be 10 characters, so I'll just do that. Um, but you know, you want it to be secure because it is the admin user. Once that's done, you can enter the domain you can change this later, um, but all we're going to need to do is find out the IP address. So we'll just put 192.168.0.22 for example for now, until we find out the IP. We're just going to skip these, you can do the security updates, but I'll save it. So it's 192.168.0.34 for me to access the web interface, so we're just going to go to quit under advanced options, and we're going to go to cd var www next cloud. Then you'll get this cd into the config folder and nano config.php then you can see here i believe it was 34 so we're just going to change it and if we type in conf console you can double check that yes it was 34 so on the two ones it's not dot 34 press enter on that we can proceed because it's on our home network and we get the next close login page. So, username's admin, and then the password's the one that you set in the setup. Once you've done that, you can see you get a nice little prompt, so it tells you all about Nextcloud, etc., what you can do with it, but this is Nextcloud. So obviously it's a clean install, but we can see we've got a dashboard here, which you can customize, so you can have it recent statuses, weather, etc. Um, and then if we go to files, this is sort of like your Google Drive. So you can see there's some example files here. Nextcloud, so the, you can open up PDFs. Um, then you've got photos, which categorizes all the photos that are in Nextcloud. And then activity, which obviously shows everything that's been happening on the server. Then if we go to our profile and click administration settings, you can see we've got a few uh, settings, such as setting your own theme. So you can set your own uh, login background, which I'm just going to do here. So if I go to my um, channel banner, for example, I've set that. So now you can see it's been set. So uh, that's Nextcloud, really. You can obviously experiment more about that. Um, but obviously, um, if you need any more help with it, please do visit the description uh, where you can receive help on the Discord or the environment. Um, but if you need more customised help, just pop a service request in. Anyway, thanks for watching. Goodbye.